Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is Sunday and I'm going makeupless and I haven't even really bothered with my hair. I have brushed it, but we are heading off to the local refuse site to dispose of all of that that we got out of the loft, um, as well as stuff that is there from last week. It's over by the bins and we're just going to go and get rid of it all. Um, because I've managed to find out that they are open during our lockdown, these refuse sites, and I've managed to find a local one that is in our county, because the ones we used to go to that were local to us, because we're on the border, was not in our county, and they've restricted it. And Yes, so that's where we're heading right now. Very bumpy road. Yes, I guess it's. We have to wait until a space becomes available. They're making every other space after oh, right. bollards oh, for safety, fine. for spacing, and all that jazz. We're right by the RAF base, and we just saw a huge helicopter. Well, a Chinook and a and a normal big army helicopter come over. Helo, yeah. Helo is that yeah. what they're called? Helos, helicopter. There, there you go. There's our spot. Yep. We're being naughty. Don't know we'll be guessing them out. Hmm? Don't know we'll be guessing them out. No. We're a bit hungry, aren't we? Mm, we're a bit hungry. Yeah. So, so we're doing the drive through. We just stopped at Asda because Lee and the boys have used up the loaf of bread I bought them yesterday. It was one of these nice fresh loaves of bread, so they've used it up. So they haven't got any for sandwiches. So he's running in to go and get some bread while we're out and about. Um, and then he's going to grab some fuel while we're here because it's cheaper here. Um, I have just had a message from one of my mums. So it's the, the children who didn't come last week because their mum's boyfriend had COVID. And although they've not had any symptoms or signs and technically could have come back on Thursday for just for the day. I mean, because obviously I don't work Fridays, but it, it would have meant that their 14 days isolation would have been up. Um, Mum just thought, well, I'll get them tested anyway. And both boys with no symptoms have come back positive. So that's a bit scary. It makes you wonder how many kids are walking around with it who don't know and are therefore spreading it. Which is what I've said, schools being open, it's not safe. If if it doesn't affect kids as badly and you don't see it as so much in them, then they're just silently spreading it around amongst each other and then taking it home. So it's a bit worrying. But anyway, they're obviously not going to come next week. Here I am, back in my loft. A fresh bin bag and uh, more boxes to go through. I just seem to spend my entire life up here at the moment. But look, you can see the wall. I'm actually getting somewhere. Vast, vast improvement. Just found a letter from my granddad. June 26, 89. Today I went downtown New Westminster and posted airmail, a tape to you girls and a letter to mum. When I returned home, guess what? I had that have a happy weekend card from you with a something for me or a request for me to write to you now i think we had better decide on which is best tape or letter my writing is so terrible and my spelling so bad that i think it might be best if we used tape what do you think <laughs> While I was in town, I bought two 30-minute tapes, so I shall start on one of those for you now. July the 1st, Canada Day, the tape. Something off, as I said it would. I hope, I really do, that you liked the tape. If you did, say so. 
if you didn't say so. Something to something. It's something to important to be polite. It's far too important to be polite. So you say it as you see it. Yours, Grandad, let's have a cuddle. And that there was my Grandad. Baby photos of Kenzie. Scored you, little baby. Got that one in our bedroom. That was when he was a few hours old. Uh, a lot of mishmash of pictures here. Oh, look. Kenzie and my mum. Baby Kenzie. Baby Kenzie. Jet black hair. My flowers from when I gave birth. Oh, Lee and Kenzie. That's a cute one. Sucking his thumb, squished his face up. What do we think of this teddy who's got no fluff left? He was my dad's cousin, Jane's teddy bear. When I used to visit her in Manchester, I fell in love with this teddy bear that's obviously had a lot of love. And I ended up keeping him. And he's always had a lot of love. He does live in a box now though, which is a shame. Oh, and cheekaboo, but he doesn't have a tail anymore, but my cheekaboo. And I found diaries, and I found old letters, and I found all my exam results. I found the boys' birth certificates, which have been missing forever, and I had to get replacements. But unfortunately, a lot of places want to see the originals. Um, so that was really good. Right. Oh, and a tiny tears whose leg has fallen off by the look of it. And I put her in the washing machine last time I had a clear out. And look, she got caught against the door of the washing machine and um, it went badly for her. her she looks like she's got some sort of burning scar because she got a friction burn. It's almost gone through there. Eek. Just having a tea break. And then using those boards to board up that space. And then I can bring some of these boxes up. I can put the photo boxes in a corner. And then Friday, I can do all of this area. And I will have made significant progress. I am actually feeling quite accomplished. noticed there is i don't know if that is a rat chew or just yeah. deterioration where is that my dear thank you please pass me up some electrical tape so i can fix this before i board over it right i've boarded there i do need to do those middle bits but that's going to require a tool to get round the correct pieces so i'm not doing that right now but that just gives us some space to work not a bad day's work. So that's all mine and Lee's stuff in. Christmas stuff. Uh, these are all Christmas present boxes, so they will be dealt with. Those are just cardboard boxes. Um, there's a load of space on the other side. For work stuff. Uh, this side is all the boys' stuff. And then we get to a couple of minor and Lee's bits, but most of that is Brendan and Kenzie's and fish tanks and hamster cages. And then I've put the fans at the back there as well. But I need to board over there. I need to board there. And then I need to fill in these gaps. And then I can start on the walls. 
and the ceiling. And then the idea being that this area here, all to here, and then up to here, will be a chill out zone. That's the plan. Good evening. I've come out of the loft. I feel so much better having got the majority of that stuff done. So all the sorting is done. Most of the rubbish has gone to the tip. I just feel much better about the whole thing. And I can just focus on the building stuff now. It's kind of like a weight lifted. It's been a very cathartic job. Um, but yeah, now I've got the building part to do. So I'm afraid that is the end, or you might be thinking, thank God for that, you know. But it is the end of my memory lane videos. Um, we're not going through any more of my stuff. But there will be some building videos over the weekends. Uh, what have I got to share with you? America has made a decision. Biden is in. Trump is out. But he's not very happy about it. Um, and he's not going graciously. But we expected that. Uh, Covid has spread to mink in Denmark. And has then spread from the mink to 12 people. I don't know if I mentioned this in another vlog. But I heard it on another channel. And... Uh, yeah, that's quite alarming. It has mutated. Uh, anything else interesting? It's Remembrance Sunday. Unfortunately, we were driving to the tip at the time of the memorial service. So um, we didn't see a memorial service, but we remember them in our own way. So we remember everybody, but particularly our family members, um, you know, who served in the war. So I'll be thinking of my nan and my granddad and those further generations who um, who did their bit for our freedom. So yes, an important day to remember. Anyway, I'm going to make a cup of tea and then we're going to watch something that has been recommended to us. Uh, what is it called? What is it called? Searching for Truth, I think. Amazon Prime thing. Anyway, we're all set to go with that. So I'm going to go and make this tea and we're going to relax for the rest of the evening and watch that. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow.